Okay, I'm just gonna start by opening up the portal and we will then create a new mobile app. See if I can fit things on my screen here correctly. There we go. So let's go ahead and just go to new web and mobile, mobile app. Yet another tasky app. That better be available. <laughs> and we will use existing resource group here. I'll use another tasky app, which had been created before and hit create. Go check out my app services. And my another tasky app is there from earlier. Let's wait until our yet another gets created. Shouldn't be too long. There's our yet another tasky app. And I'm going to set up easy tables on this so that we have some data to play with. We're going to go ahead and create ourselves a brand new table. We'll call it yet another tasky. That way we've got our nice empty table. So I want to play with the empty table because I'm going to show you guys something. We're actually going to go into the uh, edit script here. And in the JSON for yet another tasky, I'm going to add dynamic schema. And this is going to let me add data pretty much willy nilly however I want to. It will add columns as I need them added automatically as you will see shortly. So that says save, so I'm actually done. Do that and so now I've got my yet another tasky. And so now what we're going to do is bring up Postman, which is a, a REST client. So I've got that open here. Let me get both of these windows now. Now I need to shrink that down again to get it to fit. Having problems with my monitor resolution there. There we go. And so let's slide this over here. And in my yet another tasky, our overview here, I want to copy the full path there. And as you guys will recall from AZR 110 and AZR 115, since I used easy tables, I now have at my tables path, I should have an endpoint for yet another tasky. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a get on that. And you'll remember that I'm going to get an error about my headers, but I actually want that error because that's going to make it easy for me to add the header because I'll just copy and paste from the error. Okay, so go to my headers here, Zumo version. And of course that's going to be 2.0.0, which is, this is header is just a requirement of our Azure mobile app services. Now when I hit send, I should get an empty data set back because we don't have any data in there yet. There we go, empty data set. So now what I'll do is I'm going to post to this endpoint. So we'll do that, our post, and I'll go to my body, my body raw, some JSON data. And so here, this is where I said, because I turned on dynamic schema, at this point I actually get to kind of type whatever I want and they'll just auto generate columns for me, which is kind of neat. So first of all, I'm going to add an ID. Oops, that needs to be in a string. So ID and that's gonna need to be a GUID. I'm gonna go grab a GUID from somewhere here and change that so that it's unique. I just changed some random character. All right, let's uh, say I want a to-do column and we're gonna do some things. And I want to know if this task is complete or not. And at this point it is not complete. So we'll do that. I'm actually gonna hit the HTTPS endpoint because of a bug in Postman. Um, our posts will always get redirected to HTTPS and for some reason Postman does not follow uh, does not follow redirects correctly. So if I actually just post directly to HTTPS then that gets around that bug. So when I hit send now, um, again we have a Postman bug here with, with some of this stuff. I'm gonna go in and see 
if it did in fact hit my endpoint correctly. Go to my easy tables section, yet another tasky. Okay, there is our data. As you can see, we now have data in our table. Now we can come back here, we can do our get. And our get now returns the data that we previously created. It also populated all the auto populate columns there. So one of the interesting things here is that our get works. We're not requiring authentication at all, right? Now this starts to bring us then into our authentication point, right? So now let's kind of close up everything here and go to the authentication tab for our app service. And by the way, this is a big long list. Authentication happens to be right here, but if you ever do need to jump to something, there is a search window up at the top, click that. There's our authentication, of course, right now it's off. I wanna turn it on. And remember, I could just say for everything, if you try to access it automatically require Twitter, this would automatically start trying to redirect users to a web or redirect users with a web view to the Twitter login. We don't want to go there, especially not with a mobile app service. So we're going to leave that alone. We are going to configure Twitter, however, because we do want to interact with it. We just don't want to force that interaction. So our token store is on as we need to make sure. And we're also going to set up Twitter specifically. Come in here and Click this to get the instructions. This will open the instructions for how to interact with Twitter. And then I will open this one. This is the Twitter developer website where I have to set up my web app. And so I'll come in here and you can see I had that another uh, Tasky app set up. I wanna create a new app though, cause we're doing our yet another. So yet another Tasky app, yet another Tasky. Now the website, should still be in my clipboard. Nope, not had that good in my clipboard. So let's go back to here. And we can go up to our overview. Once again, we can copy, uh, actually here, I'll cheat this time. We're just gonna grab the yet another tasky app. But we could have copied it from the same place we copied it from before. In our case, the name of our app is yet another tasky app dot azure websites dot net. Go ahead and give it the HTTPS just as kind of a best practice here. Now, we've got to tell it that, we've got to tell Twitter that when it's done authenticating the user, where is it going to redirect that user's web view back to? That actually is in our instructions here. So we're going to need to grab our website and then after that, that callback right there. So let's come in here and I am going to, well, paste all of this like so. Then I'll grab the rest of that path from here. And I have read and agree to the Twitter development agreement and create my Twitter application. All right, my Twitter application has been created and you'll notice that I now have a key. There's my key in secret. With my key and secret then, we can finish setting up our app on the Azure side. So come in here, my API key, check Twitter again, grab the API secret and say, okay, make sure we save. And now we're still not requiring security, even though we've now set up one authentication endpoint. So this will still work. We're not requiring this and we won't until the next demo. Right now we're gonna leave that open, but I do wanna demonstrate that we can actually at this point log in. We can actually register uh, with our application as a user. So to do that, I would go to my own website. So once again, that path there. And this is where we would actually have our web views then open to when we were working with the user. Again, if we weren't using a client SDK, which we ultimately are going to use a client SDK most of the time, but there will be some instances where that might not meet your needs, in which case you might be using a web view directly, using HTTP client directly. And it's good to understand what's going on under the hood here. So at this point we can say dot 
uh, slash dot off slash login slash Twitter. Now this is of course our website, but our website is actually going to redirect the user. And so notice we're not on our website anymore. It redirected us to Twitter, but told Twitter that what the user wants to log into is the yet another Tasky app. So now I, as a user, can choose to allow yet another Tasky app to see information about me. And I'm going to authorize that. And now Twitter has redirected me back to yet another Tasky app. So at this point, I am logged in to yet another Tasky app with Twitter. So now if I have endpoints in my yet another Tasky app that require authentication, I will be able to access those. We're gonna look at how to do that in our next demo. First, some things to discuss in the slides.